In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to tag along. When you tag along with someone, it means you go with them. If Jen said that her and her brother were going to see a movie, I might say, hey, can I tag along? I'd like to see that movie as well. So it does have a positive sound to it. When you tag along, it can be a positive thing, but we sometimes use it to talk about a little more of a negative situation when we talk about kids. Sometimes your little brother or sister wants to tag along every time you go somewhere. And that's a situation where you might not like that. If you think back to when you were 16, and if you said to your mom and dad when you were 16, I'm gonna go see a movie with my friends, they might say, hey, can your little brother tag along? Can you take him with? And you might think, no, I don't want my little brother to tag along. Uh, I just wanna go out with my friends. Maybe that was your situation. Maybe you let your younger siblings tag along, I don't know. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is to play phone tag. So I think I might have taught this, uh, sorry, did I just say lesson? The other phrase I want to teach you today is to play phone tag. I probably said it correctly, who knows? It means to call someone and leave a message and then they listen to the message and then they call you and leave a message because you didn't answer the phone and then you listen to their message and then you call them and leave a message. So when you play phone tag, with someone when uh, you have a little bit of phone tag going on. It means that you're calling, leaving messages, calling the other person, leaving mess, and it just goes back and forth because you never quite connect. So to review, to tag along means to go with someone. Uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I made a video at the mall and you were able to tag along virtually. You were able to come with me. Uh, and to play phone tag means to um, phone someone and then they and leave a message and then they phone you and leave a message and then you phone them and leave a I think you get the point uh, about what phone tag is. Anyways, let's look at a comment from a previous video. Uh, this comment is from uh, KSE No, I, I just waved to people. I don't, I don't know who that was, but I thought it would be nice to wave. The phrase, a regular haunt was new to me. It sounds like a place where ghosts go frequently. Those, these words I had to look up in the dictionary. Toboggan is a sled. Finicky, demanding. Divot, a torn up piece of tur turf, like from golf. And then some life events in my past have also come back to haunt me in the present, but that's another story. And my response, that this is a great example of making your own homework after watching a lesson, great work. So thank you, KSE Nam. Sorry, I didn't read the whole uh, comment. I don't wanna take up the whole video, uh, but it was a great comment. And that is a great example of making your own homework. What I mean by that is, when you're done watching a lesson, it's a good idea to do other things to help you practice what you learn. So you uh, made a comment, you made some notes, you looked up some other words, that's all awesome. And I hope a lot of you do that. Anyways, thanks for that comment. Uh, where am I? I'm in the industrial park. So in our towns, we have different areas. We have residential areas where there are houses. We have commercial areas where you find stores. And then we have what we would call industrial parks so this is an industrial park this place has a lot of metal and steel and old steel drums the place up here i think makes trailers i don't know what this place does this is new this is our water tower so all the water for this town comes from this tower um, and uh, even our water that we drink at home is from that tower because we come and we fill up in town we don't drink the water from our cistern so this is an industrial area or an industrial park. This is where you'll find like little factories and storage areas and people that do, I don't know, like welding and all that kind of stuff. I don't actually know. I've, I've never been to the industrial area before. I just know if there are big trucks, this is probably where the big trucks come from. So anyways, thanks for watching this little English lesson and a not so great <laughs> description of an industrial park. I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you next week with another short lesson. Bye.